Uh, so uh, during my career, I spent uh, quite some time doing uh, Tableau Business Intelligence uh, and 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 SaaS and Oracle, uh, and now as part of a, of a, a bigger team, uh, I am learning Sysons uh, and and uh, and we wanted to. Uh, to uh, to show you what is what. Uh, firstly, maybe uh, we will begin with some numbers to get you some some light around what uh, uh, what, what what is this company. Uh, so, first public release of uh, Sysense was 11 years ago in 2012. Uh, since then, they managed to serve over 2,000 customers in 186 countries. Uh, they are uh, em em employing more than 700 people all around the world in places such as uh, US, uh, Tel Aviv, uh, Ukraine, London, uh, Melbourne, Tokyo, and 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 uh, and, and places like this. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see. They are uh, cooperating with many uh, with many different uh, customers from many different uh, uh, sectors like healthcare, financial, industrial, and they they are managing uh, to to have quite good NPS score uh, because 60 plus is, I, I believe it's a it's a good number, uh, and for quite some time they are they are marked as uh, as visionaries on this Gartner quadrant so uh, they are uh, occupying occupying similar space as SAS uh, Oracle Salesforce uh, and 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 uh, Yellowfin uh, so okay. Uh, uh, once we know uh, a little bit more about the company, uh, let's take uh, let's take a look at the product itself. Uh, so, Sysense, like most of the uh, top BA tools nowadays, can uh, connect and treat almost every kind of uh, of data, from cloud warehouses to uh, web applications and flat files. Uh, once connected, uh, Sysense utilizes its its own technology uh, called InChip uh, to uh, to query the data, uh, and to put it simple, it uh, this InChip technology it takes best parts from from uh, disk based DBs and in memory DBs uh, by by using its uh, uh, its own code to uh, optimize how RAM is used and how the technology communi communicates with the CPU instead of instead of relying on the on their operating system to do that and what is important uh, it dramatic, dramatically cuts down the number of times the same piece of data gets copied between ram and cpu by referring to cache whenever possible yeah and and because of that the uh, the, the whole process of of, quer of querying the data is 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 much faster and especially if you if you are working on the uh, on this on the same data uh, so uh, when we have all of our data in one place uh, Sysense, uh, sorry, uh, Sysense uh, helps, us, helps us with uh, easy integration with its AI, uh, AI assisted uh, data preparation suite. Uh, it allows us to create uh, what they are calling Elastic Cube model, uh, uh, which is in general columnar, uh, columnar database. Uh, here we will be able to combine live data with static extracts from many different sources. Uh, what is what is definitely a, a good thing? There are no custom languages for it, uh, nor nor need for predefined data relationships. We can build our data uh, using SQL uh, or by utilizing this Sysense uh, Sysense graphic interface for uh, defining relationships between each table. And uh, and once we are ready, and 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 the, and the whole mod whole model is uh, is created, uh, we can easily publish it on uh, as one model to be used by many different dashboards. Uh, so so we have this uh, one single source of truth. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's all it's it's also uh, worth to mention that since Sysense is uh, is single is is a single stack solution uh, with with everything in one place and uh, and this in chip technology allow us to uh, to to scale volume of data. Uh, Sysense over, offers great scalability uh, uh, for for its customers, whether uh, whether we are speaking about number of users or volume of of, of data. Yeah, so uh, we can we can start from 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 very tiny data set based on 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 some 
some flat files and to, and we can easily extend this to uh, to to many different users and to many 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 gigabytes of data uh, and and as uh, as uh, size and tell us uh, there there won't be uh, any 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 drop in performance or 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 or, or thing like this so so this is definitely a, a, a strength of of this of this bi tool uh, okay so uh, once we have uh, our our data ready and and everything is uh, loaded on to, onto the server uh, uh, we can uh, we can we can dive into visual part of of, of size yeah the the most important thing and 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 and, and the thing that uh, customer will will see for most of the time so to create the dashboard, uh, we have to similarly as in as in other uh, other business uh, business intelligence intelligence tools like Tableau or, or or Power BI, we have to create what they are calling widgets, uh, and those widgets are components of of the dashboard. So so, so so we can create several of them, then put them on on onto onto dashboard page and and uh, and align them to our 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 needs. Uh, those widgets can be some some charts, text boxes, tables, uh, or for example, Sysen's own blocks object on which I uh, elaborate uh, elaborate a, a little bit uh, later. Uh, strong strong par part of this visual side of the tool uh, is the fact that it can be easily used. Uh, both by inexperienced business users, which are which are starting, let's say, they, they, their adventure with visualize, visualizing data or, or stuff like that, uh, and by more skillful analysts or, 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 or developers. So, Sysense offer offer us a, a ability to build really simple uh, simple widget, uh, widgets. And if we need to create something more fancier and, and, and more sophisticated, uh, we can we can go to let's say advanced options. And then we can play around with 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 many uh, with many different uh, settings and 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 functionalities. Uh, uh, during during dashboard development, Sysense offers us a lot of let's say quick functions and tools right under the click of the mouse. So uh, so for for simplest of, of, of cases and 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 and, and simplest of uh, of let, let's say features we do not have to create uh, to create new uh, new column or, or or new measure every time we can just right click on on, on something and 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 it will allow us to uh, create those those simple parts of analysis right away so uh, so I believe that this is uh, this is quite uh, quite useful thing. Uh, sorry, uh, and uh, uh, we do not we do not need to extract data on which we want to work uh, from from this Elastic Cube that we created previously. Uh, this da uh, every dashboard can utilize whole Elastic Cube, and and there is there is no additional need to uh, to to modify this data to to narrow it in any way or uh, or something like this. Mm. Uh, and similarly, as as in other tools like I, I said previously, Tableau, for example, uh, we have several several uh, le levels of filtering uh, from um, uh, from data set to single analysis. Uh, allow us to tailor uh, to tailor uh, this uh, this so solution to uh, to customer needs. Yes, yeah, so 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 we can apply filters on the on the data set itself. We can apply filters on on the dashboard. We can apply apply filters on a single single widget we can make those filters cascading onto each other so uh, so uh, this, this this gives us a uh, huge uh, huge ability to, uh, to to play around with it and and create what what what, what really customer needs uh, and coming to filtering, uh, we cannot forget about uh, multi-level security, uh, both on system and object level. Uh, user can set access uh, privilege, privileges on Elastic Cube, which is containing data, and on the da dashboard itself. Uh, thanks, thanks to that, we can uh, differentiate who is able to uh, build on top of published data and who is able to uh, consume data within the dashboard. Uh, and apart from that, of course, admin is able to uh, to set server access rights both for individual users and for uh, and for defined user groups. 
so uh, so uh, yeah uh, okay uh, science uh, apart apart from uh, apart from pretty neat visualizations and 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 uh, and nice and quick functions filtering and security uh, allow us uh, 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 to customize design solution with uh, with tools like white labeling javascript apis and this uh, this sizes block blocks solution uh, sizes blocks are basically json's objects uh, rendered as html html inside widgets on the dashboard yes yeah, so 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 we are uh, we are we are putting this widget called blocks and then we can go uh, we can go edit it and and program it program it to the uh, to the way we want yeah so uh, it allows us to uh, add dynamic uh, and and rich content in 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 our widgets uh, that can turn dashboard into interactive business app. Yeah. So, uh, for example, we can create a widget uh, that visualizes important KPI, uh, and apart from that, we can add some add, add some buttons, add some actions uh, on 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 which we want to act whether this uh, this this KPI drops or rises to the appropriate level I will I will show I will show how to use this blocks uh, blocks tool uh, later in practical uh, presentation but uh, I think that that really neat and uh, this really uh, uh, is, is is something new in uh, in in uh, business intelligence uh, world let's say uh, and talking about customization, we cannot forget about uh, embedded analytics. Sizes offer wide variety of, of tools like iframe, iframes, uh, SSO integration, and uh, its own uh, JavaScript JavaScript library uh, called Size and JS. Uh, using the, using them will result in uh, in seamless integration of Size and functionalities with 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 let's say existing clients websites or applications uh, and uh, what uh, what is good those uh, those integrated functionalities will be fully preserved even th even though they are uh, taken out out of uh, out of uh, original sizes app yes yeah? so if we if we have some charts and they are and they are uh, filtering each other or if we have some uh, if we if we have some functionalities of highlighting stuff or or or, or anything like that, uh, if we if we put it into uh, into into something external, it will be still preserved and it will it it, it will maintain uh, almost all of uh, all of the Sizens uh, original functionalities. Uh, okay, uh, any questions so far? Maybe. I take it as a no. Uh, okay, so uh, now that we covered what Sizens can do, uh, let's quickly check how. Uh, let's quickly check out how it plays out in uh, comparison with other players on the market. And first one will be the will be Tableau. Uh, with with which I have uh, definitely biggest experience. Uh, so Tableau plays best at uh, at lightweight business analysis, uh, but uh, uh, but it can also be leveraged to higher scale. But then it 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 it, it requires uh, IT or or, or 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 database support uh, to, uh, to 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 fully use it. Uh, it has nice data pre data preparation tool which works best on smaller data set which produces one to few uh, tables tables as an outcome uh, main tableau desktop application is a definite leader in data visualization and discovery uh, it is well suited both for inexperienced users and ex and experienced ones uh, data querying is based on uh, in memory processing uh, giving great performance on smaller data sets uh, and uh, and it rises as a great option for the centralized model of operation yeah so uh, if 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 we want to, if we have a couple of, let's say, business units, and and we want them, and and we want to give them ability to query the data, discover the data, we can definitely uh, uh, give them Tableau to use, and 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 it it, it will be uh, quick and easy for them to uh, to learn it. Uh, next one will be Power BI. Uh, 
Power, Power BI is definitely a great point for uh, Microsoft uh, tech stack uh, with relatively low, pre low price and uh, ease of learning. Uh, similarly as Tableau, it is great to manipulate smaller uh, data sets, but require, again, uh, database support at scale. Uh, it has definitely wide variety of, uh, of visualizations with possibility to embed Python and R scripts or community-based uh, custom charts. Yeah? So uh, using Power BI, we can, we can really, really edit it to, uh, to, uh, to the limit and, and we, can, we, uh, we can create uh, one, in a, one in our dashboards. Uh, additionally, uh, Power BI has a large and engaged community, which will definitely helps with with uh, with any development problems or or, or any 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 uh, any blocks on the on the way. Uh, next one uh, will be Click. Uh, I believe that Click is more suited for BI developers. Uh, it has its own scripting language, so so entry point is. Uh, is is a little bit higher for for uh, for let's say business users, uh, and it may require more more skill with advanced visualization. Yeah, so uh, uh, I, I I believe that uh, that uh, this tool uh, definitely plays better with 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 developers. Let's say uh, it provides ETL tool uh, again with in memory data processing. Uh, Click has definitely large partner network and excels in in, in user enable enablement uh, by offering a wide variety of of trainings and uh, and tutorials. Uh, so uh, now to the last but not least, Looker. Uh, Looker is pretty uh, pretty similar to Click, I believe. Uh, it is again best suited for for developers. It has again its own scripting language uh, scripting language called uh, Looker ML. Uh, it it requires database for processing data, so uh, uh, it it may not be a standalone tool. And on Gartner chart, which 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 I was referring uh, at the very beginning, and they are they are uh, marked as uh, as as challengers. So 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 they are yet to win they win their place on the market. Uh, so. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, BI market is quite a diverse area uh, with many interesting apps available and I cover just like a tiny bit of it. Uh, size and solution has its strengths with, strengths with uh, definitely good performance, especially when scaling to, uh, to, uh, to larger uh, data sets. Uh, and very, very rich uh, customization or, or integration op options uh, and their, their own uh, patented lead, uh, in cheap uh, technology uh, is, is, uh, is, as I said, taking the best parts out of, out of these base DBs and, 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 and this in-memory in mem in memory processing allow us, to, uh, allow us to, uh, to have great performance even on, on, on the on the on the on the huge uh, on the huge data sets uh, okay now i will uh, now I, I i would like to show you some uh, some um, some sizes in practice uh, do you have any questions uh, for now okay i take it as a no uh, so uh, may i present you uh, sizes uh, so uh, we have we have main four tabs in here. So first one is data tab. Here, uh, here we can create new Elastic Cube or connect to uh, to to live data. Next one is analytics, and in this analytics tab, we will create our widgets and we will and we will compose our dashboards out of these uh, widgets. Uh, third one is actually interesting one and uh, definitely interesting for any business user uh, because uh, this 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 pulse functionality. Uh, gives us opportunity uh, to mark any interesting KPIs in, in our dashboards. And when this KPI changes, for example, there is abnormal spike or, or this KPI met some thresholds, uh, then we will, we will get an email with information, hey, this, uh, this and that KPI uh, met their 
target or, or, or something like this, and it's definitely worth checking. Yeah, so uh, I, 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 I will show it after we create our, our little dashboard, but uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is definitely, uh, definitely good for a, a business user. Uh, uh, and the last uh, and the last uh, last page is uh, is admin page. Uh, however, however, with our our training uh, training license, I I cannot do much here. So uh, I will focus on this on these first two, and then I will show you how how the pools work. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if we if we want to create a new data, we are clicking on this Elastic Cube. We are giving it a name. Uh, I think test four will be will be empty. Yeah, it is, uh, and and here we have this uh, this data data creation wizard. Let's say so, uh, we can use this custom uh, custom button once we have something imported because uh, custom button is basically SQL editor, and and there we can we can combine uh, com uh, and there we can combine a couple of, of of different tables already imported into the model and create and create a new one out of it. So I cl uh, click on data. Uh, we have we, uh, we have couple of different uh, different connectors. I will connect to uh, SQL Server, uh, and uh, out of it uh, we will use legendary Adven Adventure Works database uh, to uh, to uh, import some uh, some stuff into our into our model. Uh, so we will focus on a on a on a sales schema, and we will uh, we will uh, take uh, sales order detail, and we will take customer. Of uh, course, yeah. Can, can you put some SQL here, or just import tables? Uh, yeah, uh, if if uh, if you if you if you click on a on a table, uh, first of all, you can preview the data. So if you are not if you are not sure uh, what is in the table on or what you are importing, uh, you can you can preview it. And as as uh, as you can see uh, at the bottom, we have this generic uh, generic SQL query, and 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 we can and and we can modify and and uh, and apply it to our import so yeah we do not have to import whole whole table if we do not need it we can we can uh, we can edit it before before importing and and use only only those pieces that we require and we can do joins here uh, i believe yes uh, I, I was I was not doing joins here yet. I was I was doing it in this in this custom uh, custom tab. Uh, but as far as I know, uh, SQL inside Sysense uh, can can do everything unless this is uh, this is select sta statement. Yeah. So no no inserts, no no stuff like this. We mm -hmm. can uh, we can do only only select. And I and uh, I'm pretty sure that we can we can do joins here here as well. I I, I know that uh, that for, for that for sure we can do joins uh, outside of, of this import wizard. Oh, thanks. Uh, OK, so uh, we marked two, uh, two tables. Uh, I will just check whether we have this uh, customer ID. Uh, sorry, it's not detail, it's header. OK, so uh, we have those two tables marked. We, we, uh, we can click done, and it will uh, import those tables into our into our model editor, and and we can see that uh, this AI supported uh, uh, gra gra graphical suite already helped us with uh, with with joining it, and it uh, and it set a uh, it it set relationship between those two tables using customer ID, which which I uh, which which is what I was uh, going to do. Uh, so uh, we have those those two tables, and they are uh, and they are and they are in relationship to each other. However, if we want, we can uh, we can create. Uh, uh, sorry, not here. Uh, we can we can create uh, we can create full table uh, out of out of, the, out of those two uh, in this custom editor. So, for example, select all from. Uh, from uh, sales order ID left, uh, sorry, as a left join 
uh, customer as B on A customer ID equals B customer ID. And uh, at, at the top, at the top, uh, we got confirmation that this was parsed successfully. So uh, uh, we, we didn't make any mistake. So if we click save, it it will be it will be created as uh, additional table with with all of the fields from uh, from those two. Uh, and uh, and we can we can we, we can do exact same operation if we if we import some flat files if we if we connect to other databases. So this is quite uh, quite flexible. So. Uh, once we are, let's say, happy with our extre extremely advanced model, we can build it, uh, and we have uh, we have two options: we can replace all or changes only. And since we just built it, we have to let's say replace all because uh, because we do not have any model yet. Uh, if we if we if we create it and then uh, and and then we forgot that uh, some 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 column or or field should should be named uh, differently and we change it we can we can we can press changes only at, uh, and it will uh, and it will perform much better because it will apply only changes that 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 happened yeah so for now we we click build and we want to build everything uh, it will take some time, but uh, it, it, it should be rather quick, like uh, 30 or 40 seconds, I think. At least it was the fact yesterday. Is it work in memory? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's using this uh, their own own technology, this 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 in cheap one. So it 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 utilizes it utilizes RAM and and CPU and uh, and 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 they and they have this uh, this special code that is uh, that is uh, telling uh, telling CPU what what should be taken from RAM. So so this is this is some this is let's say in mem in memory but extended. Yeah. So. Uh, so it 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 takes best best parts from uh, from uh, from in memory and 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 this base. Uh, okay, so once we have it created, we uh, we uh, we have this option to uh, create dashboard, and if we click on it, we will have our uh, our. Uh, uh, editor for the dashboard. I, I will call, call it exactly the same as data source because there is no need to uh, name it otherwise. And uh, at the very beginning, it looks really uh, plain and simple because we have just like one button with select data. But once we select this data, it 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 will be definitely uh, more interesting. Yeah. So so uh, for the for the first uh, first widget. We will do something really, really simple, uh, and we will count how many customers we have. Uh, here we uh, here we have, uh, let's say uh, the the simplest uh, the, the simplest widgets that that we can use. So we so so if we click on it, it 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 will change our data in some way. Uh, it 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 will make no sense, but it uh, it uh, I want to sh to show it to you. Uh, so. Uh, we want to we want to show how many customers we have. So, uh, so let me count unique it, and and uh, then we can see that we have uh, more than nineteen thousand uh, customers ID in our database. So quite good number, I think. And once we are once we are happy with this extremely simple uh, widget, we can click create, and it will be added onto. Uh, onto dashboard, yeah. So, so, so we have our, our, uh, our first, uh, first widget. Uh, it's it's a simple one. So we want to create maybe something more advanced, yeah. So we are we are again clicking on a uh, plus widget, and but now we, we will go to advanced configuration. And this advanced configuration is looking more like let's say uh, Tableau or or any other uh, business intelligence tool, uh, because we have our shelves. We can add our measures and our dimensions here. On the right hand side, we have a quite good uh, design panel with with uh, many different options for uh, for uh, each of those uh, which, uh, for each of those uh, widgets here. Uh, so. Uh, so if we if we if we change to a pie chart, we have uh, we have other other settings. If we go if we go to the area chart, we have again other settings and so on and so on. Uh, 
uh, for now, we just want to create a bar chart uh, with uh, territory ID. Uh, if we uh, if we add a table with territory names, we, we, would, we would have them, but for now we will just focus on territory ID. So we have uh, 10 territories from one to 10. Uh, for values, we will, we will add again this uh, customer ID, uh, unique number of those customers, and we can see that we have again quite simple, but with uh, but with some with some additional functionalities, we can uh, we can make it stack. If we, if if we have some additional uh, additional measures, we can set minimum, maximum, and so on and so on. I believe that and that's nowadays it's it's a it's a pretty standard for uh, for uh, for uh, such options in uh, in for in for in formatting area. So once we are we are happy with uh, with this let's say more advanced one, we can click apply and now it it, it looks not really good because uh, those long and narrow widgets are 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 are, are not not too good to see. So so we can we can move it. We can change uh, we can change the amount they are occupy, occupying in each row. Uh, so uh, so. Uh, Mainly building dashboard look building uh, of, of of dashboard looks like this, uh, and now uh, and now I would like I would like to show this uh, blocks functionality because I believe that uh, uh, this is something really cool in in uh, in business intelligence uh, area. So again, we are we are clicking on a new new widget. We are going to uh, advanced advanced. Uh, uh, options and we are scrolling to the very down and we are choosing blocks and these blocks is as i said json rendered as html we have many different templates that that we can use like uh, like double indicator donut many 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 different temp templates that that are editable uh, and uh, and this and this window on the right hand side, apart from giving us opportunity to edit this uh, this JSON, in, uh, it gives us a configuration file, so 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 we can change the definition of 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 of, of font sizes, colors, and and stuff like this. Uh, and apart from that, it gives us uh, a little help in in creating this uh, this uh, JSON because here we have uh, those small pieces of code that we can copy from here, paste into the editor, uh, change what what we want to change, and uh, and and make it and make it uh, as as we want to be. Yeah. So uh, so we have we have I think almost everything possible for this editor here so we so we can copy it out uh, and last but not least we have uh, we have some uh, additional uh, pieces of code for actions like like buttons opening urls and and uh, and stuff like this uh, uh, I will uh, I will not uh, write it from the scratch right now because it would take too much time I have prepared al al already uh, some uh, some code to to show you how it uh, how it works. We just have to we just have to add a couple a couple of fields from our data set to the uh, to the um, to the shelves in the in these blocks item. So we are adding our territory ID because it will be, it, it will show us uh, numbers for each territory. We uh, we can add again uh, customer ID as a unique number of customers ID. And we will add something related to, let's say, uh, revenue. Uh, and we make it to, uh, and we, we will change it to average. Yeah. So now that I, I will copy it here. Uh, sorry, total due, wrong field. Just let me let me change it. Total due, and make it average. Yeah, so uh, I, I pasted this code. I just I just changed some some tiny pieces like like headers, like uh, like uh, indicators which which field we want to use. And and now of course we of course we can change the background image. We can change uh, action under this button. We can add more buttons. We can we can erase them completely. Uh, Everything related to related, this button is defined at, 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 uh, at the bottom, and we can see that it, it, it will take us to, uh, to, to Sysense homepage. Uh, and uh, we can 
we can change those numbers by uh, applying the arrows uh, because because we, we we have this show carousal true. Uh, if 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 we change it to false, it will cascade all of all of those those regions one over uh, one under the other. So uh, it, it won't it won't look too good. Uh, so so we have those functionalities and this these are only these are only uh, really tiny bit of what can blocks do. So uh, this is quite simple, but yet I think uh, as, as an out of the box uh, BI, BI tool quite, quite nice. So if we click apply, uh, we, can, we can move it to the top. Uh, and now just in a few minutes, we have, let's say, Quite good looking, but not very informative dashboard, and 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 we have all of the functionalities. What is more, by the default, every widget on the dashboard is affecting uh, affecting dashboard filters. So, for example, if we if we want to focus on region number one, we can click on it. Uh, so these blocks at the top will be filtered by it. Uh, this uh, this performance style on the right hand side will be will be filtered by it. We do not have any arrows anymore because we are focusing only on the on the on the one on the one ter uh, territory uh, territory. So if we unclick it, we, we will get it again. So uh, so so yeah. Uh, Okay, I think that uh, that will be everything from me. I hope that I, I, I didn't bore you too much, and 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 that is uh, and that it was uh, uh, interesting. And if we if 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 we if we uh, will have any any uh, interesting projects with Sciences, we will definitely uh, let you know about it or 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 something like this. Yeah. So uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much.